Oh, good afternoon, everyone. It's an unveiling with a difference this week. Have a look, all this wonderful stuff. As you may or may not know, Wales is going into a second lockdown from 6 pm tonight, Friday evening. Ooh. So, in view of that, I had a quick trip to the storage unit yesterday afternoon to retrieve some stuff because God knows we'll not be able to go back there again. Uh, this stuff has been in storage for at least four years, some of it probably a little bit longer. I've been to a different corner of the unit. So I know it's in a couple of the bags, because I've done some requests for, for stuff that people have asked for. But uh, three of the bags, I have got no idea what's in them, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Uh, I've enlisted Madame Chenet from the Wombles to help me this afternoon. Bonsoir. Good day. Let's crack on. Right, this sack, I think, has probably got training gear. Now, probably 90s training gear. But again, a bit of an unknown quantity. Okay, so we start off with a... A man new Nike training top, it's quite nice in black with gold trim. This one's tagged. Well, that looks like a referee shirt actually. Possibly, oh yeah, referee shirt, umbro with a pocket there for the uh, for the cards. The cards never appeared in the Merseyside Derby last weekend. <coughs> uh, another Man United Nike training top in black on the sleeve, that's quite nice. Liverpool, Adidas, Carlsberg, mid 2000s, mid, uh, mid 90s, I should say. Oh, nice one. Wrexham, one there with Umbro, that's quite nice. Long sleever. Uh, small adult size, perfect. Robbie Williams. Who doesn't love Robbie Williams? So there's one of the uh, the football shirts for one of his tours. God knows what date that's from, but that's quite nice. In blue. Didn't bite myself in the gig, promise. All right. Everton Chang and Bro training top. Uh oh. We've got another Robbie Williams. <laughs> another Robbie Williams football tour shirt. That's quite nice, that white. Bit retro looking. Excellent. Hopefully that's the last of them then. Uh, another Liverpool Adidas polo shirt. Now this stuff is a bit whiffy. Only so much that it's been in storage for a few years, as I was saying. So it's uh, it could do with freshening up. Gentle little wash. Another nice Adidas Carlsberg. Logo sticking together there a little bit. Anyway, moving on. Another Man U Nike training top. Nothing vintage so far though, chaps. Everton and Bro, it's quite nice. The funny thing when you buy training gear is, it's amazing how good the conditioning is. It shows how little people have actually worn it. Uh, Everton, uh, Coventry rather, Puma, sponsored by Cassidy. So that's again 2000s, I think. It's quite a nice little shirt. Hey, Wales Kappa. Love a bit of Kappa. Small adults, nice one. This could take a while, couldn't it? Right. Valencia, Nike. That's quite cool. Classic white with the orange trim. Uh, reproduction. So I don't sell reproductions, as you all know, on the original stuff, but sometimes you get it thrown in as a mixture uh, in a job lot that you buy. More Liverpool Adidas. Oh, that's nice. So heavy cotton training drill tops. Swindon Town, 90s, made by Mizuno, and they were sponsored by Nationwide. That's really nice, could do with a good iron. <laughs> but otherwise, that's a really nice top. Next. Ooh, that's nice. So that's when Adidas were with Liverpool the first time round. So that dates to about 1993. Size, that's one of those weird Adidas code sizes. So the label on the inside should tell me that it is uh, large. Excellent. See, the busiest person in this house over the next few days will be the washing machine. Nice Wales champion 
top from about 2008 when Champion took over from Kappa. Everton, it's a bit grimy again. Needs a good, good soaking washing machine. That one. Actually, there's quite a bit of Everton here. We've got a nice one tagged, Sunderland. Uh, with Umbro. That needs a wash, but I'll have to think about something to do with that one, given that it's tagged. Oh, another tagged one. It's down West Brom with Umbro. That looks in better condition. Uh, another Man U, AIG, Nike, sponsored train top. Oh, look at that. Retro. Not original, of course, but that's a nice added aside love, Milan. I'll see one of them for a while. And we have this originals range. Or oh, Everton, Chang. More evident Everton Chang. Let's take this out. So more Everton. If anybody wants any Everton training gear by Umbro, please get in touch. It's another Sunderland training top. Oh, actually that might do the away shirt, think about it. Yeah, Everton away, uh, Sunderland away shirt by Umbro, that's quite nice. Not sure why that's mixed in there. Everton rugby style shirt. There's obviously a, a lack of Everton training gear worldwide because I've got it all. That's a quite a nice Man U, Nike. Shirt, Merlin. Oh, Tranmere. Tranmere Mizuno, so that was dated about 96, 7. Sort of training top t shirt. That's quite nice and green. Quite a rare top. Argentina. That's a nice Adidas training top. Not seen one of those in a very long time. Not since I was last in Spain, probably. Right, next. That's another Tranmere one. By Mizuno, Man U Nike, quite boring polo. <laughs> Everton, great Liverpool, Reebok. I was never a big fan of the Reebok training gear. Oh, but that's nice. A bit manky, needs a good soak. But the Istanbul Champions League final 2005 polo shirt, I remember I had one of those. That's nice embroidery and gold. Let's give that a gentle soak. Another dull Man U polo. Another Everton. Another Everton. Oh, Wales champion, that's quite nice. They made some nice stuff. Courtesy, of course, of JJB back in that day. Oh, look at that. Barnsley, by my favourite firm ever, Admiral. Look at that, from about 94 5. Look at the tapering down the sleeves. Whoa. And of course, the obligatory Everton Chang. Right, that's enough of the training gear. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Too many cushions. Wow. So this is one of the bags I've not been into for, like I say, at least three or four years, possibly a bit longer. Italy Kappa goalie shirt. I can see why I haven't sold it previously, probably because of these little dot marks. I'll try that with the gentle soak, might come out. Another pool, I did this 2008 long sleever, that's quite nice. And 2005 6 Champions League Reebok. That's in super condition and the neck label. And size label printed on still there. Oh, MLS. Oh, the Mutiny. Tampa Bay Mutiny. Wow, what a really nice shirt that is. Look at the colours on that one. Really nice condition. Be careful with that, that that doesn't come off in the wash. That's probably a hand wash. Right, 
Pete's Chastar. Arch Rivals for Wrexham. Still a nice shirt though. Middlesbrough long sleever numbered on the back. Possibly Academy shirt, that's quite nice. Ooh. Another Liverpool long sleever on the Warrior days. You can just see Suarez wearing that one. Giving someone a little nip. Risa. Legend he was. A Celtic training top by Nike, that's quite nice. So there's a bit of a bit of a weird mishmash in here of stuff. Mm. Oh, we've got another Middlesbrough long sleeve. Well, this one's tagged, non-sponsored for some reason. That's nice. I'll have to go to that corner of the storage unit more often, I think. Right, Chelsea long sleever from again about 2005-6 ish. Then we've got a Rooney Nike AIG United shirt. It's quite nice. Oh, this is one of my favourite United shirts actually, um, by Nike. Always liked that design, I thought it was quite cool. That's nice in there. Oh, look. <laughs> I think this might have been my own old Wales shirt because it looks a bit cream in colour from all the wearing and washing over the years. So that was my favourite Wales cap of shirt. I want that one to death. I'll probably have to keep hold of that one. And then the one from the following turn, about 2005, I think, is it? And the matching home one. Not particularly rare, but getting harder to find. And we've got Wrexham. That's a training shirt. That's quite nice. Van der Nel, one of those massively underrated companies. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Sheffield United Umbro. Actually, I bought a job a lot of these a few years ago. Um, they were used by a sort of local team in Sheffield. They all had faults. You can see on the back of that one, the print fault. So something's gone horribly wrong on the production line there. But still a really smart shirt, nice condition. Just needs a gentle little soak. Oh, look. Rangers goalie shirt by Nike. What size is that one? 3638, small adults, really nice condition. Another Wales. Kappa. It's a gentle soak, that's what it looks like. Oh, look at that one. Wales Lotto. Kid size. Dad's out there. Little and needs a shirt. What better Wales shirt to get than that for them? Oh, beautiful. Oh, the matching home one. Oh, dinky. And I think that's one of my favourite shirts ever by anyone. I just think that white and green down front and back and how they've done the collar. Now, green on one side, white on the other. That is just really stylish. And the same on the sleeves. White one side, green on the other. Beautiful shirt. Right, moving on. Oh, a couple of Wrexham Van der Nel Gap sponsored home shirts there from the mid 2000s. In really nice condition. Aha. Tottenham from the Kappa time. We seem to have a few of these for some reason. Not sure why I bought quite so many of these. Nice shirt though, to uh, make the cap and made some superb shirts during that period. The only fault really with these was if you folded these for a very long time, that uh, sponsor's logo tended to run into the other half of the shirt and ruin them, but they seem to be okay. And then we got some of these. Now these are Walsall player shirts, um, all numbered on the back. It's Few of these, but again, I bought about 15 of these a number of years ago, a mixture of short and long sleeved. And I think these were used by probably the reserve team or one of the youth teams because none of them got the football league patches on the sleeves. Nice designs, 
So we've got a bit of vintage here though, look. Look at that. A bit tatty. There's an original one. Um, 1985 Man United Adidas tracky top with a sharp on the back. Like I say, original, kid size. Just a little bit damaged, that's a shame. Scotland. About 96, isn't it? 98. Home shirt. That's quite nice. Rangers. Umbro. Sponsors logo still on it. That makes it quite rare. Not known for the best quality in that particular period. Oh, look at that. Colwyn Bay. Local team to us here. Um, made by Umbro 1990. That familiar design, Nottingham Forest green third shirt, Everton yellow away shirt from the same period. That is stunning. Oof. Another Walsall. Nice bit of modern Holland by Nike. Oh, this one. Do you know what? This is one of my least favourite football shirts ever. I mean, look at it. It's horrible. But yet it seems to be incredibly popular at the moment. And paint mark on there, I don't think that's going to come out in a hurry. Preston 2001 away shirt by Voy, mint in bag, adult large. Grimsby goalie shirt from about the same time, I think about 2001. Oh, here we go, another favourite whale shirt by Kappa, that retro 50s look. It's really quite nice. And a Liverpool Adidas training top. So it's really nice stuff mixed in there. Moving on. I'm conscious of time. How long have we been now, daughter? 17. 17, right. Oh, look. Mint and worn bagged Liverpool goalie shirt from 98, 9-ish. The previous season one. That's a kid size. Well, that's adults. That's kids. Reebok shorts. Wow. That's quite nice. 99 treble. Original home shirt. Man U, of course. Original zip. A few marks on the collar. That's probably why I've not tried to sell it before. I was trying to get some vanish on that one. Newcastle away, NTL period, that's quite nice. Really quite a smart shirt, that one. Wales, Kappa again, 2006. Oh, and a player one. Ooh, player issue. Uh, 11 on front and back, not much worn because it's still got the tags on it. And we've got a few more of those to follow shortly. That's a replica. Short sleeved. On the long sleeve version, oh wow! Long sleeved um, play version, it's different material. I also noticed on the back on the top collar, replica's got Cymru 1876, and the play ones don't have that on. It's one way to differentiate. Ooh, we've got a few of these, there's a glut of these here. If anybody wants these, um, number nine. Those will be 40 quid per postage if anybody wants any of those. Wow. Well, there's a national shortage of these, they're all here as well. Wow. Okay. I bought these in a job lot several years ago, probably about 10 years ago now. Um, on the source down in South Wales, I had a contact with the Welsh FA. So there's more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. And well, this was a replica, original replica from 2005. Still tagged in the bag. Superb. Not that. I think this is a Leeds goalie shirt, yep. Puma Leeds goalie shirt, size small, adults. That's nice. And instantly, I just think, 
Liam Gallagher. Man City, the Cox Sportif hooded top. Beautiful green colour that one. Love that. They did quite a few pieces in that colour from that training range. Excellent. Right, the good news is we're nearly finished. Now this one, I've had a quick peep before. And this one is some dead stock from the 90s. So we've got Wolves Puma. Newcastle Adidas and Liverpool Reebok. Now they're the only three that I know that are in this bag, so whatever's underneath is going to be a nice surprise for everyone. That's a goldish shirt, horrible, garish. Oh, look at that. Right, so obviously it's a kid's size shirt with a few marks. I always love that design. What a really nice shirt that is. What else have we got? Newcastle. Kid size, dead stock. Oh, tiny weeny forest, 90s. England, oh, that's a reversible away shirt. Still see old adult size. That's that lovely we uh, Wolves teal one from, again, 96. It's a second, but it's got a slight fault there. It's a nice top. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, look at that. that one. First of all, look at the packaging. Look at that packaging. <gasps> so that dates the bag, at least, to 77 ish. Oh, look. <gasps> Look at them, look at them, look how flared they are. I think we can safely say they're 70s as well. I'll put those safety back in the bag after. Oh my god. And another one. Oh, look at that. Wow. Superb. And again, we've got the piping. <laughs> oh, I do like that. Wow. Now that's why it's really nice to have been back into the storage unit for the first time in a, in a long time. And you find stuff like this that you've forgotten all about. And there's another one without the bag. On the wig wheel buttons. Whoa. Okay, moving on, moving on. What time are we at now, Sarai? 23. Oh, crumbs. Okay. Spurs, <laughs> kids. All bad stock in the 90s. Tiny kid sizes. And one Blackburn. It's quite nice. Forest. It's a nice shirt. All tagged. If anybody wants any of this stuff, the kids sign stuff, please get in touch. Liverpool goalie, 3436. Still tagged, bagged. Teeny weeny, Tottenham. Just fall out the bag. Another Liverpool Reebok goalie. 3436. And another one, youth, so it's probably 32, 34. Nearly at the end now, that's the good news. Some packaging, always good to keep hold of the packaging. Forest, youth size one. Still sealed in the bag. And the last two, array also. Uh, another teal, walls away by Puma. And another one. Right, moving on. This last bag, I do know what's in here. Now, earlier in the year, prior to the uh, previous lockdown, I went into storage and retrieved some of these, but I've had multiple requests for more. So here we are Admiral Sports Bags. All original. 
Still in the original packaging that they came in back in 76, 7, 8. That one, superb. Oh, here we are. Got a naked one. Look at that. That's just beautiful. All, all old, unsold shop stock, dead stock from the 70s. Most, not all, most of these are for sale. Slightly different shade of red. Got the wine red and the lighter red. Uh, anybody interested, these are £65, including postage. First come, first serve. One of the same. But the only marks you can see there are on the actual plastic bag on the outside, not the bag inside. It might be an age related spot mark, but unlikely. Oh! That was, that was mine, that one's got going anyway. I think that's the only one of those that there is. And there we are, folks. Oh, and finally, uh, Lightsome Munchen 72 Olympics sports bag. That's also up for grabs if anybody wants it. And that's it. Whew. Thanks for putting up with all of that stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's some really, really nice stuff. I'm off to the washing machine. See you soon.